Hello, this little video is going to show you how to find the nth term or the 50th or 70th term that you might be asked for if you are given a linear sequence like this one. Well, the thing to remember about linear sequences is that like many things in GCSE maths, it's related to the times tables. If you have watched the video on generating the first five terms of a sequence or generating the terms of a sequence, you'll know that this sequence here, if I wanted the next number, if the question was simply what's the next number in this sequence, you'd say, well, three, I've got to add four each time. 15 plus four is 19, so the next term would be 23 and so on. So this is related to the four times table. So the four times table is four times one is four, four times two, is eight, etc. So any number in the four times table is written as four n. But the four times table goes four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12, four times four is 16, four times five is 20, and so on. Can you see a relationship between the four times table, the four n here, four times whatever number I want, four times one, four times two, four times three, and the number I've got. I just want to take away 1. 4n minus 1. I can check that out by substituting, let's say I take the third term when n equals 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 take away 1 gives me the 11. So this sequence 3, 7, 11, 15, 19 is the 4 times table, the 4 times table take away one each time. Well, that means if I want the 50th, I simply have to know what four times 50 is. Four times 50, uh, four fives are 20, times 10 is 200, take away one, the 50th term is 199. I'm going to do another example, but remember, everything I add on, that's the times table, the time following that gives me the n part so here's another one as soon as I write down the second number because we're in the context of doing a linear sequence you'll probably be able to guess straight away what I'm adding on each time and which times table it's related to 12 plus is 17 and so on so I want to know the nth Term. Well, I have to add five each time, so it is related to the five times table. But how is it relating to the five times table? Well, five ones are five, five twos are ten, five threes are fifteen, five fours are twenty, five fives are twenty-five. Can you see each time what I've got to do each time to each number? Uh, the difference between five and two is three, so five take away Three. So if I wanted the, or oh, let's take the 70th term, I have to do 5 times 70 and then take away 3. So 5 sevens are 350, 5 sevens are 35 times 10, take away 3. So the 70th term is 347. Okay, I'm going to do one more and then you know the score, you're going to have a go at some yourself. So here's one. So I've got to look at each term and I know that I'm going up in fours. I have to add four to get to each term. One add four is five. Five add four is nine. Nine add four is 13. 30. So it's the four times table again, but my four times table goes four, two fours are eight, three fours are 12, four fours are 16, five fours are 20. So to get from four to one, I have to take away three. Four times one is four, take away three is one. Four twos are eight, take away three is five. Four threes are 12, take away three is nine. Four fours are 16, take away three is 13, four fives are 20, take away three is 17. 
So I'm taking away three each time from the four times table. So I think you need to have a go yourself. If you're um, not confident at trying ha having a go at one yourself, just rewind this video and watch that little bit again. But remember, it's the times table. So here's a couple for you to do. The first one is um, two. That one. And the second one is And then I'm obviously adding. So have a go finding the nth term and then let's say the 50th term for this one and the 20th term for this one. That means if I wrote out that sequence, if I carried on writing, what would be the 50th number? That's the first, the second number, the third number, the fourth number. What would be the 50th number I write down? And in here, I've only written down five terms. What would the 20th number be? Okay, pause the video and have a go. Okay, so you've paused, you've had a go, hopefully. Let's see if you were correct in finding, first of all, the, the nth term. Well, in this one, I'm adding six. So it is the six times table. But the six times table goes six, 12, 18, and so on. So six take away four. That gives me the nth term, so the 50th is 6 times 50, and then I've got to subtract 4. 6 fives are 30, times 10 is 300, take away 4 is 296. Hopefully you got that right. Here I wanted the 20th term. Well, this sequence, I'm adding 3 each time, so it is the 3 times table. But the three times table goes three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So I'm adding seven each time because three plus seven gives me ten, six plus seven gives me thirteen, etc. So for the twentieth, I want to do three times twenty and then add seven. So three times twenty is sixty plus seven is sixty-seven. Hope you got those right and yeah, you're feeling pretty good. I suggest that you run through the video again just to get it clear in your head. And um, yeah, I hope that helped. Bye bye.